G20 Youth Summit has already started, and so did the negotiations at this Thursday. The committees are organized and the teams are very profound. Syria civil war, food security, economic austerity, technology development, the use of water. At the first day of negotiations, the delegates showed their respective positions as representatives of each country using their technologies to start the discussions. Um, we're arguing about uh, food security and nutrition. Uh, we have, uh, we're going on a lot of talks about how to preserve uh, food crops, how to move them. Which, uh, our main topic now is sharing information on how to keep crops and how to transport food and may, uh, basically share information on how to maintain food security all over the world. Well, people are dealing with the discussions very well. We have two poles, we have Germany and then we have France and we are, they are dialoguing very easily. The event is awesome, the event is better than I expected and it's been better and it had high expectations so it's awesome and people are also, uh, are also being really, really diplomatic. We are having a really broad discussion. We are discussing right now about competitiveness in uh, the G20 and in regarding the European sovereignty crisis. And we, uh, the most difficult topic that we are reaching right now is about the austerity issue. The debates are being transmitted by the radio app of Rio Branco University. The discussions forces the participants to use all their knowledge about each situation to get into a consensus. Being aware of that and about the internal and the external politics of the country they represent, it becomes an exercise that demands the most of the skills of these students. Uh, there is two, two main points that, uh, that divide the discussions here. Some of them defended the, the international law and the sovereignty, or in other words, uh, we want we want we have to respect the the, the, uh, the sovereignty of that country, and other the responsibility to protect. Uh, no, we have to act. We have to stop them, stop this war. We have we as the com international community have to provide protection for the population in Syria. Uh, they need us, and it's. It will overlap the sovereignty of this country because it's necessary for the human rights. I'm representing the United Kingdom of Great Britain and the Northern Ireland in the Head of State Committee. We're discussing now about uh, the reform in the United Nations Security Council. We're having very tough discussions. It's not been very easy. But the main point is that all the countries here in the G20, they are concerned about this new world representation regarding this new distribution of power uh, in the world, the new economic powers, uh, the original uh, military powers. So we are trying to find a balance between those two aspects and we are progressing very well in this kind of articulation and trying to, so, uh, to find solutions uh, over this aspect in the specific. The event also features presentations and panel discussions of international issues. International guests, called the chairs, share their personal and professional experiences. What kind of challenges we have in the international arena being resilience? And how can we, or what you feel it would be important to take on?